Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist and in today's video I'm going to be drawing the crocodile. I like I'm when I draw characters that I don't know their name to, what I'm going to describe them as is what they are. So in terms of like uh saying somebody's name you would say uh obviously you would say their name right but instead of being like i'm gonna draw a crocodile i'm gonna say i'm gonna draw the crocodile the difference is that if i say i'm gonna draw a crocodile it refers to a group of crocodiles and i just picked one right but if i say the crocodile it's referring to the crocodile that is the main the main focal point of a story a um a group right so if i say i'm going to draw the crocodile it's referring to me thinking that this crocodile in in particular is a main vital crocodile of the tv show that i am drawing right now right so rather than saying i'm going to draw a crocodile it like that can imply that there are multiple crocodiles and i just picked one right if i say i'm going to draw a hyena right you can be like oh well he just picked one of the hyenas that was just doing the dance that one time when he was singing be prepared right but if you say i'm going to draw the hyena it's referring to one of the main three hyenas of the uh lion king right like i think that that's like a different uh like a small difference that i'd like to let be known right that i that's why i say it the way i say it at the start so when i say it like that you know that the character that i'm drawing is a main character or a main focal point in the story right whereas previously I've drawn like random characters and then I've said, oh, I'm going to draw this soldier. I'm going to draw uh, this guy, right? I'm going to draw that guy, right? The difference is, is like you're like, like you're lumping them in to being just a guy, right? Or a person rather than putting any specific thoughts on that person being anything related to the main storyline at all so it gives you like leeway in that sense so yeah uh let's get into this
right, I am finished with this picture of the crocodile, the, the guy. Um, the, the, the complicated part about this crocodile is, it's like, like the color, the colorway, right? Because, uh, the, it's two-toned, well, three-toned, technically, because the front belly, right, is a different tone, and then the two greens, which... I, I'm pointing as if like you can see it, but I have a photographic memory, so uh, I can remember that it was uh, like this part was like extremely light, and then there was like the green, the the double green, but one was like I want to say like like grass green, and then the other green was like like l lime green almost. Which I think is like, actually, I don't think that that's that much different. Um, let me think of something green, like very uh, obviously the color, like the main color of it is majority. I would say it could be grass green is the crocodile is in its entirety, but the light portions back here, I can't think of a green right now, like that will justify like I, I can't give you an example I'm sorry I apologize so I guess I'm gonna have to go with like lime green and uh, grass green I guess like I can't think of one uh, wait um green apple a green apple uh, a green apple and grass green those two greens are the colors of this crocodile. So, yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment section to make it better for you to watch next time. The glove is off. Peace, love, thanks for watching.